Hey, this is Lasers, and today I'm going to show you very briefly how to make a very basic mist generator for Dwarf Fortress. This machine is extremely helpful as a tool to keep your dwarves as happy as stumpy little gremlins can be. The basic idea of a mist generator is to continuously drop water from one Z level to another one, causing mist to form and spread at each level it drops to. If a dwarf walks through this mist, it reminds that dwarf of a waterfall and makes them happier as a result. There are a plethora of ways to make this effect, but today I'm going to show you the one I am currently using at my forts. I am certain there are probably easier ways to achieve this effect, so if you have any good tips or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section for other Eurists. Let's get started. First, you need to make sure you have at least four Z levels in a column. You can have more than this if you want, but you need to have at least that many. The top layer will be open air ground level, and the other three levels will be directly below it. Make sure on your top ground level, you have at least a 3 by 9 space available in either a horizontal or vertical row. Our first step will be to dig out a channel where I am showing you here. We will dig down two levels. This leaves a hole in layer 1 going to layer 2. Next, we'll go to the third level and dig four more channels at these spots. This leaves us four holes in layer 3 down to layer 4. Make sure you have a channel hole in layer 1 that goes to layer 2, one in layer 2 that goes to layer 3, and finally the four corner holes in layer 3 that go to layer 4. Next, we are going to layer 3 and we're going to build a gearbox where this iron floor tile is. This gearbox will transfer power from above to our pumps that we will be putting soon. Next, we will build four screw pumps between the channel holes that we have already built. We will be directing the outputs in a clockwise rotation in order to keep our water flow going in a loop. Make sure you place each pump with the flow going in the right direction. Now that those are building, I'm going to go to level 2 and I'm going to build a vertical axle in the channel hole above the gearbox we have in layer 3. If you need more Z levels between your top layer and the layer with the gearbox, simply line up your channel holes and build more vertical axles. Next, we're going to build three windmills on our open air level 1. The first windmill needs to center on the channel hole to level 2 with the vertical axle connecting directly beneath the center square of your 3x3 windmill. Once your first windmill is in place, simply place two more windmills connecting to the first by lining them up like so. Please excuse my dramatic gearers with this pig bone scepter. Next, we're going to build two horizontal axles which will connect to our gearbox. The first one will go left to right on the left side of the gearbox. The second will go north to south on the south side of the gearbox. One thing to keep in mind is that the horizontal axles are for moving power across the same Z level, while vertical axles move power up and down across multiple Z levels. Once those two axles are in place and windmills are built, the screw punch should begin work. If all four pumps are not working, check and make sure your axles are lined up properly and make sure your vertical axle on level 2 is directly below the center square of the center windmill. If you don't have enough power, simply add more windmills connected to your line. Now that our screw pumps are powered, we need to add some water to the mechanism. An easy way to do this is using the pond fill zone action. We will click the zone button, select pond, and then place a single pond tile directly above on one of the four holes on level 3 that go down to level 4. You only need one pond tile as we simply need two buckets of water thrown in the space below. Once the zone is set, make sure to select the designate top of pond option in the pond zone you just made. Now, we simply wait for the two buckets of water to be thrown in the channel hole. If your water source is extremely far away, you might need to make a feeder pond zone, closer to the build site. You will know right away if the water is at the right level because you will see the water zipping around in a circle from channel to channel, depositing plenty of delicious mist on the floor below. The machine is technically complete, but if you're like me and you hate mud puddles in your fort, you can simply make paved road tiles on the four spots beneath level 3 channel holes you made, and mud will not form. You can also put statues or other various objects there, but paved road is a bit easier. As a last step, you should go and remove the pond fill zone we created earlier to keep the water level appropriate. But other than that, we have completed our mist generator. Place this anywhere you have a lot of dwarves and reap the benefits of our stumpy Eurus ignorance on what actually constitutes a waterfall. I hope you enjoyed, and remember, a happy dwarf is an efficient dwarf.